Welcome back to Women in Business. I'm your host, Lisa Autry. Today's segment is brought to you by our sponsor, Malicious Women Co. Sassy candles for all of you sassy ladies. Make sure you log in to maliciouswomenco.com slash discount slash WIB15. That's Women in Business 15 to receive 15% off your initial purchase. Let's get those sassy candles, ladies. Today, I would like to welcome an amazing woman, mother, homeschooler, and total boss babe. I want to welcome Edna from Beyond Beauty Boudoir today. Welcome, Edna. Hi. <laughs> so, this is the first time we've had you on, so I want to talk a little bit about your business and what you do and um, how you can help others on their journey. So, first off, what is it that you do and how did you get started? Uh, so, I'm the owner of Beyond Beauty Boudoir mm -hmm. um, here in Clovis. You said it's not local, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but Clovis, basically, California. yeah, I, uh, I specialize in helping people embrace just who they are, their body, where it's at right now. Um, and I kind of got started with a little bit of curiosity and a little bit of pr protectiveness because all I had seen in my, you know, world was men doing this type of photography. And even though it's amazing, men are cool. You know, I'm married to a guy and he's awesome. <laughs> um, I still felt like there was a level of vulnerability that uh, only a woman could help another woman yes. in specific sit situations. So I kind of did it from a little bit of protectiveness and, yeah, curiosity because I, I don't know. I just thought, hey, it'd be fun. We'll see how it goes. And, and then we took off. So it was great. <laughs> I love that. And that really relates into your mission and what you do for your business and how you serve each client to make right. them feel comfortable and help them realize their full potential mm -hmm. throughout the shoot and beyond. It's really, uh, from what we've been talking, it's really an internal and external yes. beauty that we're <laughs> amplifying. So I absolutely love that. Okay, so you've been in business for how many years now? Um, so since 2018, 2018, but in 2018 I was doing everything yes. and then in 2019, um, I just said, you know what, this is all I'm doing. I love it. It's, you know, what my passion is, what my, my everything is calling to. So I just narrowed down and that I've been doing just boudoir for two, yeah, since 2019. Oh, okay. So, so, so four years now almost. Yeah. Um, or three years for of specializing. All, for yeah. Yes. So what struggles have you had to overcome in business? Being a woman on business is challenging, and yeah. then you add children onto it, and you homeschool. We both homeschool. We go yeah. to some of the same homeschool events, so it's pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, what challenges have you had to overcome, and what struggles have you seen? Um, on the business side, as far as being a woman in business, it hasn't been as difficult. My homeschooling is good. My biggest struggle, because of the type of photography I do, is always other places not accepting me as a business. Mm -hmm. So like I've been, de been denied memberships to, I won't name it, but a specific chamber of commerce. So like, and then even the networks I do join that do allow me in, um, they won't always do their full package, like, you know, the shout outs and all that mm -hmm. stuff because of what I do. And I understand and I'm respectful, but at the same time, it's kind of like you can't get into circles yes. that you're not a part of so no, no and that makes <laughs> sense so how have you been working to overcome that because you offer such beautiful services and you can tell behind the camera <laughs> the woman feels that too and, right. and embodies that and that's so much more I always like to say it's so much more than some photos it's so much more than photography it is really a life journey that you're taking people through how have you come to kind of conquer that that struggle of being accepted as a business um, I don't know. I just, I just keep going and I find the right people, you know, their path alignment and my path alignment cross and, and we make magic, <laughs> good, good things happen. Yes. Um, and we just, I don't know, they find me, I find them and, and I keep going and I keep trying like yes. as far as networking with other businesses, I keep trying, um, to reach out and then if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, then at least I made a new friend because yes no matter what, I'm always going to befriend everyone. <laughs> I'm a homeschooling it. mom. I'm so lonely. <laughs> but that also adds to the level of comfort for your clients. And then building relationships. So on several of these segments, we have talked about 
it's it's who you work with women are better together we know that so when you can collaborate amazing things can happen Dang. well okay so you're a, a homeschooling mom you're a work at home <laughs> mom well, although you got you do have a studio yeah but work <laughs> never leaves when you're a woman on business how have you been able to seek balance in all of the roles uh, most recently I joined an accountability group where I'm basically me and biz other business owners are just like creating strict schedules, we're setting timelines, we're, you know, creating strong boundaries, because boundaries for any woman, if, even if they don't own a business, is like something we always have to work on. Yes. So just good boundaries. I outsource a lot. So even like my homeschooling journey, I outsource things to entertain my kids, to give them, you know, teaching activities. Like we just signed up for piano, which is gonna be great. Um, uh, but that gives her an hour to do something she needs and me an hour to do other things. So it's all about prioritizing what I'm there for and what I need to do. I love that. And working <laughs> smarter, not harder. That's yes. the thing. Can, we can maybe do it all, but not all of it is 100% yeah. the whole time. So, well, Edna, where can we find you and where, you're, where are you headed next? Uh, so you can find me on my website or on the corner of Bullard and Minnewawa because oh, <laughs> nice. that's where the studio is. Um, but next, I'm actually hoping to be moving out of country um, oh. at the end of next year. So that'll be the big move um, and good steps for me yes. <laughs> personally. Um, but yeah, so that's where everyone can find me. I love it. I love it. Well, congrats on your journey of moving forward. Thanks. And I'm going to continue to watch you grow. Your business is absolutely amazing. And you help so many women conquer their struggles in what you offer and the journey you offer. So thank you so much, Edna, coming on. And we're going to have you on again to talk more about your business, hopefully soon. So thank you for coming on. Of course. Until next time, I'm your host, Lisa Autry, and this is Women in Business.